Now, what's the name of this church? St. David. This is St. David's in Shiraz, and we're going to just peek in through the window. is the one who came over on the Mayflower from England. He settled and built the, the house that we're going to take you to see. Okay. All these Pagees are his descendants. They were blue blood. Three they blood. were blue blood. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now there's blood. there's an old, old stone. Hang see, on. See, all here. these Pagees are of that family. See the date. That's what I wanted to see. That's 1915 and 1943. That's not too old. Now, now, what's the story with this one here with all the I bricks on it? This is an old one. This was, it could have been like a mausoleum that collapsed or the bricks were somehow over the grave. They've restored it. I had not seen this before. Oh, look. See, here is the hallowed ground. Rest officers and men of the 71st Fraser Highlanders. Their names known only to God. They died in the American Revolutionary War serving their king and country far from the native Scotland in the summer of 1780. So these guys were, were Scottish Highlanders of the Fraser Highlanders and they fought for, they fought for, uh, for England. I'm of Scottish descent. That's, that's mostly where my lineage comes from. So these are Revolutionary War soldiers who, saw, who fought on the other side, and they're all the way down here in South Carolina. Let's go take a look at the, oh, there's a sign. Hang on, let's go look at the sign. I'm using my new, uh, my new stabilizer rig that I built, so hopefully there's not as much weeble wobble when I walk around. You guys will have to tell me, tell me what it looks like. The 71st Regiment of Foot, the Fraser Highlanders. It camped at Sherall Hills in the summer of 1780 during the American Revolutionary War. They were recruited in Scotland in 1775 by their clan chief Simon Fraser, Master of Levat, to serve in the army of King George III. Down here at the bottom. When duty calls me, I must go to stand and face another foe. But part of me will always stay over the hills and far away. If I should fall to rise no more, as many comrades did before, ask the pipes and drums to play over the hills and far away. There's so much controversy today about, about all the things that happened in the history of our country that sometimes it's, it's good to look at both sides. These guys, these guys fought for England. They fought against. America being its own country. They fought against that, but they're still honored here. We should honor all the fallen soldiers that fought. Here's a Confederate soldier's grave with the battle flag. Look how small that stone is. That stone is, is just tiny. The writing's completely gone. It says CSA. I can read that, but that's all I can read on it. That was a soldier who fought for his country. We should honor all the dead. Beautiful old church, too. Oh, we get to go inside? Oh. We're going to go peek through the window. Hang on. So, and so I can't even see that right now. I won't get to see the inside of the church until uh, until I look at the video. Because as you can see, it's a little tall for me, and I can't stand on my tiptoes. Well, these nice people here, they, uh, they're they going to be doing a, a wedding here on Saturday. And today is Thursday right now. And uh, so they've got the keys, so I get to see inside the church.
This is a beautiful, beautiful old church. The floors are uneven. It's hard for me to walk around. Oh, there's an upstairs. I'm not doing the steps though, sorry guys. So there's the front door. So if you walk into the church, this is the view you see. There's the pulpit. This is gorgeous. All the pews are boxed in. You don't ever see that anymore. Let's get a good shot of the floor here. Those are at least eight inch pine boards. That's old pine. You don't see grain like that anymore. And I don't see any lights here in the church, but it's nice and cool. So I don't know if it's air conditioned or just built that well. Uh, that is just uh, cool. It does have a sprinkler system though. So go back here into the old office. There's the old office there. Now let's go take a take a look at the pulpit and oh, there's the upstairs that I wasn't going up. You can see it right up there. Got to take a look at some of this woodwork right here above the pulpit. Just gorgeous. Awesome. In memory of the three grandsons of General Thomas Erasmus Poe who gave their lives fighting for the Confederacy. Old, old cemetery here at uh, St. David Church. Is that what the name of this is, Abby? St. David Church. Huh? Hang on, we're going to go walk over here and and look at a monument that was part of a historical grave. I'm getting a workout walking around today. This one here that's leaned over sideways. Yeah. Captain Moses Rogers died November 11th, 1821. Commander SS Savannah, first steamship to cross the Atlantic. Crossed in 1819. One last shot of this beautiful old church. Kind of do a 360 of the backyard here. Hi, I'm Neil, trample amputee who loves to ride motorcycles, train some jujitsu, and travel in my, all across the country in my teardrop camper. I really appreciate you watching my video. And if you liked it, if you don't care, Give it a thumbs up. If you want to, you can subscribe right down here. Check out a few other of my videos. I've written a few books, so if you want to check those out, they're right down here. See you on the next video.